part truth isn't the whole truth. Have letter number 6039. June 7, 2017. There is some truth in everything. In every accusation. In every blessing. Nevertheless, part truth is not the whole truth. The truth is invincible. It is truth. Part truth is not the truth. Will you, once and for all, be done with self-inflicted pain? Everything in the world is an illusion anyway. Most ways of thinking are hit or miss. Within everything, there is a blessing, if only you could spot it. The school of hard knocks contains its blessings whether you see the blessings or not. Everything. There is good in everything. There is good in everyone. There is purpose in everything. There is purpose in everyone. All this may be very difficult to see, especially when you have your mind set on having been wronged. Reconciliation, if you are true to it, holds a great step forward to your credit and to your honor and to the respect you bestow on me. Ultimately, you are the author of all you meet or come up against. If there is a boulder in your way, you had something to do with the boulders being there as a bulwark in front of you. Of course, you wouldn't choose the bulwark. No one would choose it, yet you did, somehow you did. You are your own culprit. You are the perpetrator. This is across the board. When you are all that you want to be, somehow you did it. When you are not all what you want to be, you occasioned that too. There is no wiggle room for you. Face it. You have been both hero and agitator. Not by design, of course, yet you are also the villain. Not a bad guy, but perhaps, yet even innocently, the villain of the hour. If you are hard-hearted, you buried your heart in standoffishness. You did it. No one else did. You are aware that you are stubborn. You are strong in your own will. Right or wrong, you are strong. You are not always right. Truth is worth your while. Accusations are not. If you hold negativity to you, you are the chooser. What payback do you receive? Only more negativity. Begin to see in a new light. Acrimony is more than a waste of time. It is a waste of life. Life is a blink of an eye. What does all this that matters so much to you at a given moment matter at all? In the long run, not a whit. You hold on to your imagination. You hold on to untruth. You deceive yourself, and you deceive others as well. Expunge pain. Certainly, don't deliver it as if this makes you an upstanding citizen. If you are unable to let go, you are good at holding on to that which doesn't truly exist except in your mind. Be not proud. Certainly, animosity is not noble. It is not for you to be vainglorious about it, for then you malinger. Certainly, you convince yourself of your virtue. Holding on to being holier than thou is not virtuous. Do not accost any one of my children. Be a good soldier. Don't be a warrior. In the name of love, let go of any vestige of animosity. Come to your senses. Do not think for one moment that I throw anyone out. I see beyond the fences you put up. Tear down all your barbed wire so you can see a new today. How about now? All the barriers you have set up are good for nothing. They are up to no good. They are hangers on that offer no merit to you or anyone. Be done. Let's not take up life with grudges. Let go, let go, let go. Let go of illusion that deters you from the truth of oneness. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org